Welcome back. So yeah, we had our first little real combat there. I guess let's go right to Echo Call Crossing here. Let's sneak again though. For all the good it did us last time. And onward to Echo Call Crossing. Hmm. Encounter in Vendrian's Well. As you make your way along one of the wide dirt roads that wind through the forests of Old Apex, the mountains loom above you on every side, and only the mountain spire jutting skyward from the center of the broken realm provides a consistent landmark by which to navigate. Cresting a hill, you make out a flash of light on bronze through the trees, accompanied by the movement of several individuals. That much bronze, you realize, must indicate a group of oathbreakers, and they seem to be just around the next bend in the road. What can we do? Attempt subterfuge? Approach openly, avoid them. Let's attempt subterfuge. Uh, keeping low and using the thick foliage as cover, you move carefully through the underbrush, marking the conclave, concave bend in the road. The far side of the bend slowly resolves in your view, revealing not one patrol of warriors, but two. Apex heraldry and heavy bronze scale mark the first group as members of the Vendrian Guard. The other warriors, however, wear rings of bronze set in heavy cured leather, a sigil on their tabards styled in the likeness of the Bane. You have heard that a group of brutal mercenaries out of Haven adopt sim similar heraldry. We can attack. Let's for now, let's spy on them though, I think. Moving with extreme care, you close to within listening distance of the two groups. As you eavesdrop on them, it becomes immediately clear that the Vendrian Guard hope to recruit the mercenaries, explaining to them in no uncertain terms that if the Citadel of Vendrian Well falls, Harris's edict will slay every tearsman confined within the valley. Such is the way of the Overlord, the Oathbreaker tells the mercenary. His troops die or we all die. There's no middle road, no parlay, and no quarter. Ooh, damn, I really want to attack. Let's go ahead and expose the lie. You step forward, revealing yourself from the brush sending the tearsmen scrambling to ready a bristling bronze wall of spears, swords, and shields. You point at the guardsman, calling out his self-serving lie. The mercenaries have little to gain from working with the Vendrian guard, and everything to lose. The edict of execution shall slay those in the valley only if the citadel does not fall to Kairos' forces. You should know, you tell them, the edict was issued by your lips. Even as the Vendrian guardsmen howl, for your head and advance on you with weapons drawn, the mercenary holster their arms and withdraw into the woods. Alright, it's fight time again. We could have taken on both at once, probably. Got more loot. But hey, this way. This way we got to we got to humiliate them before killing them. Best of both worlds. Humiliation is the best loot. Oh my god, these load times! Pretty background here though. Hey, there we go. Cool. Come and finish it, Northern Lapdog. Like there are six of them. Okay, that's weird. We're actually unpaused right now. Sun soldier. Where's the loot? There we go, there's some loot. And we like okay now they immediately go. Enemy. So yeah, we got athletics, control frost, lore, one handed weapon. I need to figure out what I need on this guy, because that's just wasteful. Is there a stop command? Options controls. Is there screens? No, I'm not sure there's just a halt. Oh, cancel oh cancel action is X. There we go. Someone's still moving. 
All right. Plant tree. Go ahead and greater renewal, everyone. Lord. And everyone else, stay back till we get the renewal. To the All right, we got the renewal, and Barrack. Go ahead, taunt all these dudes, and you. Oh shit! I thought it was once. I thought it was once per encounter, not once per. This one is once per rest. Damn, I like that one. That's too bad. And I wish we did have a bit more AOE. I forget. Does this AOE? Maybe, but it's hard to target. Maybe once they, once they land, it'll be easier. Um, that's disappointing, though. All right, uh, let's go ahead. Freeze, honor guard, outrunner, honor guard. Sun soldier, sun archer, or not sun archer? Just plain archer. Right, let's go ahead, freeze. I don't know, outrunner. Oh wow! No, that's bad. All right, their group. Though, let's go ahead and see if we can't rhyme spike both these dudes. That looks pretty good. And you, uh, actually, let's go ahead and skewer this dude. And go ahead, buff yourself up here since you're that one me hard. getting wrecked. And keep fighting this dude. You cast your spell. Are you casting or not? Eric, why is your weapon ineffective, dude? On who? I think they're the same though. That's annoying. Why is I guess he just doesn't have the accuracy or something. Anyway, I guess for now we'll just go ahead. Ooh, I wish we could rotate. Yeah, look, we did hit both of them. That's nice. Let's keep up that. And did did we have a ranged fire? I thought we did. I guess did it get replaced by some combo abilities? I guess we'll have to look at our skill bars here. Oh, you know what? I think we can still bring up spells here too. Searing palm. Uh, let's do electric. So that's AoE as well. An electric jolt miss. Alright. Ooh, that's got AoE. I wonder if that hits friendly as two. Oh shit, you have to target. Um let's try and hopefully not toast our own dude. Oh god, Lantry's almost down. Why did you move over here anyway? That's not good. As soon as you're done casting Fireball there. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it hit my own dude. You are going to go ahead and charge fist this guy with the hope of knocking him back. And... Damn, I guess you used that automatically on someone. I was gonna do that. Low health. I know, I know, I'm trying. I wish you hadn't healed yourself. Go ahead and try to interrupt this dude, see if it does anything. Hey, nice. Are you casting Charge Fist? Yes. You don't have Skewer up yet. I wonder what Execute does. Ooh, is he down? No, not yet. Near death, though. 
Go ahead, run you back. Run you up to an. Oh shit! No! He's down. When a party member takes damage, they will start to lose health. The health bar next to their portrait will start to decrease. When a party member's health drops low enough, they will gain a wound and the health bar will turn red. Wounded characters have their maximum health reduced. Wounds are removed when the party rests or when a character levels up. That's annoying. And could have been avoided. Go ahead, frozen. Gr no, that guy's already near death. Let's just go ahead and. Oh, you don't really have good skills there. Let's go ahead and move over and frozen grass. This guy. And you keep fighting that dude. Right. First, his weapon is ineffective too. Okay, and I got it. Go ahead. Let us take them together. Yeah, we have way too much. Uh, auto pause. We'll fix that in a sec. What are you doing? Oh, that's a combo. Okay, good. That one's frozen. This guy's near death. He must be. He must be dying. There we go. You're still engaged over here. And... Yeah, let's just give up on that. Injured. I need to put all the spells in my hotkey better. Engage. Oh my god! I don't get why it. Why, why it? And let's right click to lock. Oh. You can leave that up. That's kind of cool. Alright, steering calm. Weapon ineffective, I know. Oh! How did you even disengage? Alright, well that's fine. Go smack this dude around. We'll throw over there, nothing I can really do about it. How is this guy not dead yet? And you! Where are you going? I want you over here. Ow! Do you have any spells yet left? No. Oh, we can use our thrust, though. Um, badly injured. Go ahead, thrust. Dang, we only grazed there. Oh, nice. We have spells again. Let's go ahead. Go ahead, freeze the archer. Come and face my iron. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, don't no. Wow, this is not going well. Are you just gonna lose here? Me. Okay, good. We just spread the target there. And go striking eye. Oh, actually, let's engage the dude first. Um, just melee attack. Okay, now we're engaged. Let's go ahead. I'll do it for the north. Ooh, this could be good. If we had hit. And when do we have skewer? Coming up soon. Ooh.
Nice. Are you still rooted? Yeah. I'll tear your skin. Ooh. Nice. All right, not a whole lot else we can do. Oh, not by your ass. Ooh, level up. Nice, love it. Come and face my iron. Yeah, we, at this point we just kind of wait. She should die soon. Yeah, get wrecked. Damn, Barrack's cool looking too. Alright. Way to go. Right. Water and raw meat. A barbed pylum, staggering burn, fish and cheese, it looks like. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Boots, merchant boots. Health potion. Alright, I think that's pretty much everything. Let's go up here. And the I'll be your shadow. Down here. Before leaving. Shh. Yep, looks good. Slow and uh, steady. Why is this red? I guess that means wounded. Oh, 108 is max. Alright, let's go ahead. Level up this dude. Okay, yeah, we don't need one hand weapons. And I don't think you need bows, you didn't have specialization in it. I don't think you need two handed, one handed weapons. Is there no throne weapon thing? Because I think he's currently, I guess that just counts as a uh, one-handed weapon. Let me check. <sighs> one-handed and throne weapons. Doesn't Oh. Oh, so he's got plus 10 control life. So we'll leave that on there then. I was thinking about giving him a new thing. And I guess we can put a shield on him too. Which one's better? This one's better, I guess. All right. Um, but yeah, we should make sure everyone's got the best armor too. Oh my god, the load times. Like, I hear my hard drive, it's trying to access something else. It really should be a little smoother, but whatever. Oh, and you don't... Oh, you don't even have a helmet. And, yeah, I was going to say, he better not give me the option to hide his helmet. I like hiding both these guys' helmet. And just in case we ever do have a helmet, I'll hide yours, too. So you get to keep your helmet. All right. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and make sure you've got all your armor up to date.
pretty good. What about you? That's slightly better. Ooh, more deflection. Slightly less. Oh, those are verse only. Dang, only verse again. Ooh, plus accuracy. Ooh. That's really... Oh, is that verse again? No. That's, we got an interesting look going on here. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Up, oh, the verses again. Only verses again. Only verse. Okay, I'm going to have to figure out too why we're um, keep getting the weapon an effective thing. And let's see, I already checked weapons. So we're good there. Alright, that should be all that. But yeah, I need to check that. And also I think... I think deflection... Oh. Maybe we should be prioritizing armor as opposed to um, deflection. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's right. We were going to level up there and then be on our way. Um, give him some accuracy. I'm not sure if that was the issue, but let's go ahead and give him a little bit there. And you've got Punisher or Sentinel. I think I want... Ooh, double strikes there. Ooh. That's a stance. Gives him additional armor. Go ahead, let him engage the second enemy. Sounds useful. Alright, and let's get out of here. Sneaky, sneaky. And let's continue to Echo Call cross Crossing. That's going to be one of our big quests. Yeah, why is Barrett ineffective on all the weapon stuff? Oh well. Like, it still works. We'll just keep him occupied till we throw spells at him and stuff. 
I wonder, maybe we should switch weapons on Lantry too, because his does low damage, and I'm not sure it's worth just the plus 10 on the Stigil. It just affects his heal, I think. Which, to be fair, is nice, but... We could give him that barbed pilum. Pilum? 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 Load screens. I'll be your there we go. Alright, we are sneaky sneaky. I wish it paused on entry just because... Uh... Yeah, you've already got that sweet armor penetration. I already checked you guys. Um, okay, this does more armor penetration. Oh, shoot, less accuracy though. Why is this one so much more accurate? Oh, accuracy. Oh, melee attack. Oh, it's so it's yeah, it's hugely accurate. Okay, yeah, I guess we will stick with that. It's nice to be able to accurately hit stuff. And before we go in there, let's go ahead and sneak around here to see if there's anything. Doesn't look like it. Uh, Never mind. We got Sigil of Atrophy. Sweetness. Let's go ahead and read a Sigil of Atrophy. That is consumables, which seems kind of weird to me. And then this is the... Uh, needs 80 lore. The scroll contains a magical core, which is used in spells that weaken and degenerate a target. Oh, we got Sigil of Atrophy. Oh, I guess it can only be used nearby. Alright, we've got less might and less vitality. We don't really have a spot for it. Interesting. I don't really need it though. And we should we should buy more buff spells. Um, I want to keep him focused there though, though I guess we could grab the Sigil of Illusion. Uh, yeah, sure. He's got 46 lore. So yeah, gives us more deflection and we don't need range, but that pushes it outside the limit. So let's give it range just cause. And assign that to right there, just cause. Should we give him some combat magic too? He's got decent lore. I think we should give him another rhyme spike. That one's, oh, that's electric jolt. Um, there we go. Give him rhyme spike again. Give it range. Can't give it AoE. What? Oh. There we go. And I guess we'll give him the... I think close range does... No, long range does stun too. Not really worth it. AoE is too expensive. But we can't afford anything else. Go ahead and give it that. Okay, and now I want to see... Huh. He... I was wondering if it would give him magic skills more of the control, but apparently not. Kind of weird. Alright. Yeah, that's cool, we got a new spell. Let's go ahead and 
quick save here, just because we haven't really been doing that. Hear the song of battle. We must join it at once. This is actually a good stopping place for this episode, too. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching. Peace.